Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Diane Desville and today a short video to answer a question about those big hook that we put on the waistband of a pant. Now before to talk about the big hook, I decide to show you a few pants from the market. This one doesn't have any waistband and also it doesn't have any extra extension. Now if we look at the inside, one single big hook but what you will see is also a secondary opening system that is a button and buttonhole. In that case, the button is only sewn to the inside piece because nothing shows from the outside. You could also see that the bottom fly piece, so the double one, is made a little wider to accommodate the buttonhole. Now I wanted to show you this one because on this one you have three different opening system. If we look at the inside, you're going to see first a snap to hold the extension. You have here two hook, but they're a little smaller and you have the additional button and buttonhole to secure the whole thing. Again here you're going to see that the fly piece is made a little wider because of the buttonhole. Now finally that third example, you have an extension on the front part and if we look inside you're going to see also two hook even if they're bigger to make sure that it stays in position and again the button and buttonhole. But in that case they kept the fly piece at the original width because of the top extension. Now let's take a look at the different possibility that you have for the big hook. The first one you might have seen it before but usually much smaller. This is a big one. Personally I don't recommend this kind of hook for pant or skirt because it gives a space and it opens right away. Then the second reason is that it has to be hand sewn so the look is not so professional. The second kind of hook that you could find on the market is this one. So it's two piece. I just wanted to show you that it comes in round tip or a little more square tip. The hook is in two piece and this one could be sewn after the garment is finished and it's sewn by hand on each side. So it does go just like that. If you don't find nothing else, then you could place these one. But I think again, the look is not so professional because they have to be hand stitched. When I say that hand stitch is not so professional, it is for two reasons. First is that you could see the work. And then the second reason is the most important one is that when you do hand sew your big hook, it's not as stable as the one that you find in the market. Finally, the best hook you could get is the one that comes in four pieces. So you have the top piece with the inside piece that you don't see when the garment is finished. And you have the small piece with the inside piece to make it very stable that you don't see when the garment is finished. Now let me show you how to place it on your short. The first thing you must know is that you have to place your hook and eye before finishing the seam of your waistband. So both sides, I did open mine for a little while. So I'm going to start with the big piece. If you have only one hook, you should place it in the middle of the width of the waistband and at about five millimeter from the edge of your waistband. You should have the open side towards the short and the closed side towards the center front. So now when you have your placement, you're going to hold the hook and push only on the inside layer so your point are coming out inside the waistband. Now you're ready to place the inside disc and you cannot make mistake on which side to place it because there's a single one and then there's a double one. But if you don't want the point to come back out after it's, it's done, you should make sure that the groove going in is placed on top just like that because the other side is coming out so it's going to lift your pin. Groove going down goes on top just like that. Now when the inside piece is over, you're going to start bending those little points towards the groove. 
and when they're bent a little bit, then go with your plier and push them all the way. Now when the big piece is in position, we're going to close the zipper and indicate where the second part should be. Then we'll do the same thing again, so place your hook where it should be and then push for the point to come out inside the garment. Then it's the same idea with the small piece. So you have one side that is bumping and one side that is curving in. The curving in side goes up like that and then we just have to bend those two point So on this one you might see better, I start bending with the plier and then I will finish folding it, making it flat on this little piece. Here you go, the Okinai is finished and it's very stable. Now you just have to complete your waistband by attaching the inside part so you need to finish your seam on both sides. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.